Alrighty, I have a construction update for you guys today. So we got to visit the park thanks to a buyout and Surya's work. Um, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Snoopy's Racing Railway, this was filmed at around 10.30 a.m. And I'm saying that because you're going to see how much they can accomplish in even a day's work with only four to five people working because there's a big change. So this is around 10.30 a.m. As you can see, there's a lot of electrical. Um, obviously, that's going to be for some lamp posts. Then the, the sign for the plaza. They have this new dip and dot. So it's not really new. It's just relocated. Um, and then they have uh, the midway the, the, that leads up to the queue area all bricked already. So again, in person, a lot more is done than you can tell from the drone. Um, they got these really nice wood fence posts. I'm a really big fan of this area. Like you can tell it's going to look very Dollywoodish, um, which I'm super excited about. It's got a really good like camp feel to it, which tells me everything. I think Camp Snoopy is definitely in the works for in the Dinosaurs Alive area. Um, the track and curvature of this ride is a lot more I'm going to say intense, but it's not really the right word I'm looking for, but it's it, it's definitely a lot more intense than people were expecting or from the animation. This ride looks really good. I personally think it looks like a Junior Maverick. Like, I know that's a little bit dramatic, but I think it's like a cute little kid's Maverick coaster from Cedar Point. It's like got a lot of really sharp turns. Looks like it's got a little cute pops of airtime. Um, and with the impressive theming that this park has... Um, coming with this coaster, like it's a really good fit. And everyone we talked to at the park higher up agrees that this is probably the best fit for the kids area. Tundra Twister, um, not much going on over there. They had a team that came to work on the wood structure, but then it looks like when the rain started, they left. Um, not much going on outside of that. So like, again, Tundra Twister is a really difficult one because a lot's done but a lot's not also done, and I don't really know the timeline. Um, I do know the park is still committed to trying to get this open for May 5th, but I just, like, I just personally don't see it. Um, not much is going on with the Timber Kits building, um, but again, I don't know if that's the Timber Kits team that's a part of that now, or if someone else takes over once the Timber Kits structure's done. I'm assuming someone else takes over. But again, it's a really slow moving project now. Um, I've never seen a lot of men over here or workers. Sorry, I shouldn't say men, but a lot of workers over here um, like I did previously. So it's quite interesting. And I've, I've been thinking about it. I really hope this thing has a lighting package of some sort. It would look really cool. The mechanisms on this ride are really impressive, though. Like Even that raising and lowering platform there. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm becoming such a nerd for the mechanics behind the ride, but it's like really impressive just the mechanics behind raising and lowering that platform. Um, those weird stains we saw from the drone, I think it's actual artwork on the ride, so that's embarrassing. Um, not for the park, but for thinking it was stains. So this was filmed around 2 p.m. and they had moved the train up a little bit and added water dummies to it. So you know what that says. Um, they were installing the op booth around this time as well, the actual op panel. So I think over the next two days, this coaster is going to start moving. So that's some really exciting news, guys. Um, so we'll make sure we try and capture that for you. Um, and yeah, like I'm really excited guys. This is like, we're getting down to the wire here. That 14 package there, that's the op panel. So as we made our way throughout the day over here, that kept getting um, closer and closer. So a lot of electrical work going on. And then Timber Kits was also working on the buildings. But yeah, that's it for a construction update today, guys. Like I said, stay tuned for testing. Have a good one. See you at the park at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Bye.